In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner's guide to Zoho Forms. Now, Zoho Forms is a form creator or builder and it's such a great tool now if you haven't already signed up for it then i'm going to leave a link down below in the description if you use that link you'll get the best price and you'll also get a two-week free trial i believe so once you've gone to the description and you click the link it should take you to this page here and you want to go ahead and click on the access zoho forms button now it might get you to do some onboarding but if it doesn't it'll just bring you straight to this page here so we want to go ahead over to the let's get started section and this is going to allow us to create our first form. So we can create a standard form or we can create a card. So the standard one has multiple fields and the card has one field on a page. So basically that will mean that each time they do a answer, it will go to a new page for each. Uh, standard means you just scroll down for it basically. So pick whichever one you want to. Now, these are ones that you can create from scratch, but you can also go ahead to the template section here and you can create some from a template. So they have a ton of different templates here. They have business ones, bookings, lead gen, HR, requests, construction, e-commerce, nonprofit, medicine, education, personal, Halloween, Thanksgiving. They have so many here, basically. So if you are making a specific form for a specific reason, there's a high chance that they already have one in here that you can use, which is pre-built. So let's go ahead and say that we want to make a sign up lead generation form, for example. So they've got this here pre-made and maybe I like the look of it. I don't like the colors. I would use this and I would just go ahead and customize it. So I'm going to go ahead and click the use this template button here. Now it might take a few seconds to load, but once it does, you should be brought to the form builder page. So it's pretty simple to go ahead and use. You're going to start off on the builder section here and you have your basic fields. So basic fields are things like single line answers, multi-line, numbers, just very simple things. And it's very simple to use. You can just find the one you want. So let's say we wanted a multi-line. We could just drag that in anywhere on here. And once we let go, that's going to put it into place there. So we can go ahead and click on it. And once we click on it, it's going to give us some property options. So here we have our field label. So this is going to be like the title of it. So for this, we could put something like... Um, why are you getting in contact for example i mean you can change your question and you can hide the field label if you want to which will hide it and then we have the instruction box here so this is where you give them some more detailed instructions so you can put something like what's your rev how long have you been doing it you know etc etc put your questions in here Next we have the field size, so we can select how big the box is, small, medium or large. The placeholder text, so this will be the text inside of the box. So um, let's say EG 50,000 for example, and you can see that shows up in the box here. And then initial value, you can put a value in here which is going to show up initially, and then they can change it. We have the range here, so this is the amount of characters, so the minimum and the maximum. And you can do it in characters or words. And you can also show the character limit at the bottom so they know they can't go over. So maybe you want to do something like 120 characters to keep it short. You can select if the form is mandatory or not with this button here. And you can also hide it and disable it if you want to. Now down here they've got this cool option for privacy. You can mark as personal and you can also encrypt it. Now to do that you have to upgrade your plan but I'll speak about that in a minute. But basically encrypting it means that this is going to be data that won't be um, easily accessible. Uh, it's just for like data that's kind of sensitive, for example. You've got the input text case, so you can do system default, lowercase, uppercase, proper case. It's really up to you what you do. And then you've got this user input section here, so you can allow QR codes, so they can use a QR code for this. And they've also got the barcode section here, and there's some more settings for those. We can go ahead and click save on that and that should have changed the settings for this box here. Now any box that you click on is going to be pretty similar. They're going to have, um, it's going to be similar to sort of edit. This one has different um, fields here. If you were to get something like the time one, you can select the time format, the minute interval, maybe you're doing some kind of booking thing. You know, they all have um, slightly different things, but it's all pretty easy to use overall. Now they also have their advanced fields here, so this is stuff like payments, so you can select a payment gateway and integrate that. You've got your CRM, so you can add CRM data, formulas, um, I don't know, you might want to use that for calculating something. 
uh, subforms, matrix choices. So you've got these different box options. So it's like this or this, that kind of thing. You've got terms and conditions check boxes, um, signatures. Uh, image choices, those are just some more advanced boxes, but the editing of them is the same, it's pretty easy to go ahead and use. So next up we can look at the rules, so if we go over to here to rules, this is going to show us the rules of the different things, so we've got field rules, we can configure these, so um, for example, if name contains x, then show a specific field. So this could be useful if you've got a question such as um, how much time do you or do you spend do you use Facebook ads for your business? They can put yes, and then you can have a uh, a secondary field that's like how much do you spend on it. So you could set that up in here, and um, it's just quite cool advanced rule sort of thing you can do. You've got some general form rules as well here. Um, it's the same sort of thing. So if that if something is met then you can redirect them to a specific place so you can send them an email so maybe you want to qualify them based upon uh, a revenue for example maybe you're trying to get businesses that do 100k a month revenue you can say something like if um, revenue is 100k or more then uh, send them to this page if not then decline them you know that kind of thing we over we have the page rules as well um, which is similar uh, this is just for individual pages rather than the whole form and then we have the nice submissions as well so again you have to upgrade for that but this is kind of what I just spoke about but if you want to deny uh, people based upon their responses then you can do that in here next up after that we have our settings so we have things like our general settings so we've got displays uh, just simple stuff like that we have the thank you page and redirection so you can um, create a thank you page or you can redirect them to one you have date and time settings, uh, field alias settings, form availability, so maybe you want to have availability on it. You've got your DKM settings and SMTP, so for your domain, uh, can improve your deliverability, that kind of thing. And you've just got some other general settings here. Now next up we have our email and notifications. So we can go ahead here and we can create some email notifications. Um, for specific users we can send them inside of here um, and we can basically integrate our forms into this if we want to um, we can press this button here and then we can dynamically take uh, things from the forms and put them into here so it can just save us time if we need to get their name their company name their revenue that kind of thing put into there you've also got uh, you know some other things you can attach to this and you can send that Again, we have a similar sort of thing for SMS. It pretty much works in the exact same way. You're going to have to connect up a uh, SMS service, whether it's uh, Twilio, Clickertel, or SMS Magic. Uh, you can connect those up. And then same thing for WhatsApp, but again, you're going to have to upgrade your plan for the WhatsApp section. But these are all really, really useful, especially for sending notifications, maybe um, successful submissions, that kind of thing. You've got your branding here, so you've got your custom domain. You can connect a custom domain here very easily. You have to upgrade your plan again, um, but it's very simple to do. Uh, it, it doesn't take very long. And if you'd like me to make a video on any of these topics more in depth, I can go ahead and do that another time. You've got your browser tab here as well. Then you've got your PDF editor, so you can um, edit some stuff. You can create your own PDF templates, that kind of thing. Document merge, so you can merge documents. And then you've got your um, submissions and storage. So you can enable uh, people to save and resume. So if they start on it and they want to finish it later, they can do that. Um, you can allow people to edit their responses afterwards. You can manage form attachments here. Auto trash based upon submissions that might not be relevant. And then you've got review before submission. So um, allow them to review all their stuff. Next up, we have our translations and messages. So we can add some custom messages. So if we want to sort of slightly change the way the f um, forms are worded or the fields are worded, we can change it in here. Um, this happens for all of them. And we can also go down here and translate it. Again, we have to upgrade here, but by translating it, you can offer different languages um, for your people. 
you've got spam control here so this basically means that they're gonna have to well this is a double opt-in so it means that basically they're gonna get sent an email after they've submitted it and they're gonna have to go ahead and uh, confirm the form or whatever before it gets accepted this means that people won't spam you you've got um, one-time password verification same sort of thing it shows you how it works here uh, they get verification before they open it they have to put their phone number in and then they can use the form and you've also got a capture you've got um, Zoho Forms Capture and you've got Google Capture. So that's the little thing where they ask you to choose the puzzles so you can do it. These are all great ways to stop people spamming you because although it might not seem like a problem, if it happens, it can be very annoying to go through the data. Next up, we have our mobile app. So we have Scan and Fill. Uh, this allows people to instantly populate form fields by scanning QR barcodes using the Zoho Forms mobile app. So it's pretty cool. Um, it just makes forms quicker for people basically and you've also got push notifications those are pretty cool so you can send people updates to their phone that kind of thing you've got your compliance and audit settings here so HIPAA you can upgrade to do that so that's um, health protection stuff accessibility so you can add accessibility stuff for people who have disabilities such as you know making the screen size bigger and then you have a uh, record audit as well so you can just track submissions and that kind of thing lastly we have tasks um, this is where you can delegate tasks for your team again you have to upgrade for this uh, and you've got the filters as well so you can select based upon filters now next up the more fun part I guess you could say is the theme section up here so they've got a load of pre-built themes here and these are basically color schemes I guess you could say so you can just pick one of these they've got a lot of them that look nice um, they have a whole range of them actually or you can customize the form yourself it's really simple to do so you've got your background here you can change the color of this let's say we want it to be like a dark blue we can change a pattern onto the background here we can change the opacity of it um, we can add an image on the background if we want to we can select wallpaper um, banner Basically, each of these different things here are going to be ones that are going to be different elements. So if you went to like whip, for example, I could put fit screen and make it wider. Um, you've got your container, so this element here. You kind of have to just go ahead and um, mess around with this to see which bits you like, which bit you don't. But you can, you know, make the border more round. You can add more shadows you can blur it more it's really up to you how much you customize this for some people they won't need it customized some people they might want to add it customized um, I would personally recommend just sticking with a pre-built one just because those will look good you've got your um, sub forms and pages that we spoke about and your thank you page here so you've got the default one you've got the custom one again where you can customize it and uh, yeah pretty simple to that we can go ahead and apply this here and that should be applied onto our form Next up we have the share section section here. So this is where you go ahead and copy the URLs. So you can get a QR code for it. Uh, you can track referrals. You can embed it. So you, there's, there's loads of different embed options. So you've got HTML. You can connect it with some website builders. You've got iframe, all the stuff there, super simple to use. And you can even send it with your email campaign. So you can integrate it into Zoho campaigns or use MailChimp. And then you've got your tracking entries here. So you can use UTM tracking. So maybe running ads or something you can put trip away or whatever you use to track the submissions onto here then we've got our integrations over here and we've got a ton of different integrations um, the obvious one for me would be a CRM putting all the different responses and all the people into your CRM so you can um, talk to them down the line but you also got stuff like calendars so you can automatically set up meetings and stuff based upon the uh, submissions You've got their flow integrations as well, and this is sort of like automations, I guess you could say. So you can set up rules and that kind of thing. This is pretty cool. But it's super simple. You just have to click on it, integrate it, and it'll give you a little step-by-step -step on how to do it. And if it's just a Zoho product, if you have the product, it will just be easily integrated like that. Now over here on the forms, we can go to all entries, and this is going to show you the different entries you've had for this. You can just scroll through them. You can change your views up here. You can report. You can export them, you can filter them, all that kind of stuff. If I go over to the report section here, 
there's going to be lots of different reports we can generate so press new report here we can do list view or kanban view it's really up to you um, you put the name in you put the form in press create and it's going to ask you for some data about it um, but from this you can basically go ahead and filter this all out to get the reports on it so there's probably a few reasons why you want to do this over here we've got our users section so we can go ahead and actually add users to our account so we can go here add user again we have to upgrade it but we can add admins and we can add users and respondents and this basically means we can have team members in here who uh, deal with this so you can go ahead and do that and we've got approvals here so this is um, basically approved forms and it's really as simple as that to use it's super easy to use user friendly um, and I'll just quickly go over the pricing just so you can get a bit of an idea so uh, let's do monthly plan the monthly plan is nine pound a month for the basic stuff it goes to 22 to 45 all the way up to 90 you can go here and it shows you the different features but essentially you get more storage more users more submissions as you go up really um, you can also get some add-ons uh, but it's not gonna be super expensive overall but again, if you want to get the best price for this, make sure you use the link down below because that will give you a discount and it will also give you the free trial that I was talking about. But with that being said, that's basically how you use Zoho Forms. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below that it did help. And if you have any other questions about this or any other topic, let me know and I will go ahead and make a video about it. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.